first off, I just wanted to wish everybody either a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're at in the world. And uh, thank you for clicking on my first hunt video. Uh, so this is actually going to be a pretty big one. I want to do something special. Uh, it was Labor Day weekend. Uh, so for the first hunt, what we did was what we decided to do was do a like three city hunt for collectibles. You know, Funkos, all kinds of good stuff, Pops, Minis, uh, whatever we could find in the different stores that we went to. Uh, so this video is going to entail the uh, the hunt. And what we're, uh, what I'm calling it is like the I-74 Labor Day Special uh, Collection Hunt or just the I-74 Collection Hunt. Because there actually is going to be a Labor Day video coming out itself with a hunt and a reveal video. So uh, we'll get into that later on down the road, obviously. But all this one's going to be is this is just going to be the long day's hunt uh, going from the three different cities and going in the stores. And then after that, there will be a reveal video and you'll see what all we can get in that one. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start going on the hunt. So we are doing some shopping today on some pop hunts and some toy hunts. Uh, I am calling it like the I-74 mashup because there's three different cities within like two hours and we're gonna hit up all three of them. But the first one of the day is a Target in the first town. So uh, let's go inside and see what we can find. So at our first store, Target. And they got a Green Goblin Spider-Man. I haven't seen that one before. I haven't been to this Target in a while. It's a little bit away from where I live. I am mainly looking for that new Toy Story bundle. Oh, let's see what they have. Oh, we might have to pick this one up today. It is a diamond only at Target exclusive. So we'll have to put that one in the cart and see what else they got. Uh, some Wonder Woman Mr. Minis. Grab a couple of these for a video. Let's see what else they got. Which one of this do they have? Little Kitty All Might. Oh, we need to grab a we need to grab a couple of these to finish our set. So grab a couple of those. Um, some people pops left down here. They have Jack Jack, big 10 inch. So that's pretty much all they have here in this section. So we'll go move on. So we found an end cap here that has the Remix Pixar Mystery Minis for $8.99. Don't know if I'm going to get any of those. This is actually what we came to hunt for. This is a the Alien Remix. Alien has a buzz. This is the medium t-shirt bundle. Obviously, I am not a medium. Neither is the wife, so I don't know if we'll be getting this one or not. We'll be stopping at a couple of targets, so hopefully they might have more. But might get that just to have to return. Okay, a little bit farther down. Another end cap. They have this target. Let's go to Star Wars Pop. And then they sell some of the Vulpixes, a couple of the My Hero Academia ones, and some of the Marvel Zombies. We have all these, so we're not going to be picking these up today. All right, at our second stop of the day, it is an actual GameStop. Uh, they have some mystery minis that are on sale, so we'll go in there and see if they have any currently. See if they got anything new on their wall here. Uh, if you wanted a shared sticker thing, they are still for available here. They got some Pezzes. I have all these except for him. Don't know if I want to grab him or not. As far as Pops goes, I don't think they've gotten anything really new in since I've been here. My Pop wall is actually pretty tiny here. Yeah. Alright, they're in the mini section. They have some Fantastic Four ones that are currently, I think, 187 on sale. I'll be grabbing all those. They got some Bird of Prey. Got some Wonder Woman ones. Got some minis. Got some Zelda balls. And I do, I got a pocket pocket in here, but I do not collect pocket pockets, so I won't be getting it. 
And they do have some more normal zombies. We'll be around a couple of rows. Okay, so this is still the first game stop, and this is their like, overstock pop area. I should have collected this series, but I didn't. So I'm kind of late on that one. This one's kind of cool, but it's got some box damage. I think I'll pass off that. Here is a Kate Diaz that we just found the other day for 350. This one's marked at nine, but I found that one at the thrift store the other day. They have a lot of Game of Thrones ones left here. Some of the Christmas ones. I have this game moment, but I don't think I have this one. I might pick that up. I'm not sure. That's pretty much it for here. So we are just stopping now in our second town, second city. Uh, the first stop is going to be a Barnes & Noble bookstore. That's a pretty decent sized one. Uh, we'll go in there and see what they have here. Come up to our first stand here. There was the wife. Let's see. Got the usuals. Um, not really seeing anything that's Max with Cone. He's cute. Don't have him. Don't really collect that line. But it's a cute one. Might pick that one up. Pink Trolls, we collect this line. Uh, this is the shared sticker. A couple Harry Potter ones. Might need to get the wife this one. I don't know if she has that one or not. So we're kind of in the mystery mini section here. They have one of these. Monsters one, we're gonna get one of those. A couple of these. This is what we came for though. The Barnes and Noble exclusive, good luck trolls. They are not shipping anymore out from the warehouse and they're on clearance. So we're gonna go ahead and get this whole box. Got some Aladdin ones, Wonder Woman ones, a different Game of Thrones series one, some Ghost or Lesser one. You don't really see those. Oh, he's not even a Funko. So, they got the Bob Ross Pez. I do not own this one, so I'll be getting that. Uh, I did find some Penguin Heart Mini Mysteries as well. Uh, I will not be getting these here. I think Hot Topic actually has them on sale. I will try to grab those from there. But it's also saw so some Pocket Pops here. Um, oh, some Birds of Prey, Mr. Minis back here. And the Pocket Pops. So the other side of the display has a lot of My Hero Academia stuff. All Might there. Uh, My Hero Academia. Looks like Mystery Blind Domes. Bakugou. Bakugou, excuse me. Uh, and I got some vinyls here. I'm gonna pick up some of those. Not too often though. Um, they do have some 50% off thick pins. That might be worth looking into. Sure if I ones. Sorry. I don't know if he's a 50% off or not. But I might have to pick him up. I'm not sure yet. Let's keep on going. Oh, then there's a Tinya. So here's another Funko stand. Some of the ones that would, I haven't got the Dungeons and Dragons ones. I've thought about it, but I know a lot of those are in mystery boxes, so I haven't got them. And they got, of course, some of the Barnes Noble Funko ones. That pig looks cute. Let's see what else they got on the back side here. Nothing too great. So we're going to move on from here. We're in the actual uh, game board section. And uh, the villainous set they have, they have all these expansions with it. Those are pretty cool. It's kind of a different game. 
we, we played on our game nights. We played the main one. We haven't done any expansions yet, so that's something hopefully to come soon. But I wanted to show off the amount of monopolies they have here. This is actually the most I've seen in a Barnes Noble, I think, in general. So they have the Golden Girls, Toy Story, Scooby-Doo, Disney, and they even got some Cheetahs edition there, Simpsons, and then behind there is the actual Sailor Moon one as well. So quite a bit of monopolies here in this uh, Barnes and Noble. All right, second stop in the second town. We are going to another game stop. Uh, so it is a rather busy day. They released like three or four games, but uh, hopefully we see. It's kind of a smaller one, so we'll see what's in here. So first thing I see in here is that they still do have some of the Tenya boxes, t-shirt bundles. I never did pick up one of these. Might do that, don't know yet. Uh, as far as Pops goes, they have a, actually have an 18 inch Batman left. And they have a Coca-Cola, Mandalorian, a child. Hmm, don't know about that. Uh, as far as Pops goes. Oh, they have a blue box. They have Red Hood with Deathstroke. I need to take a look at that one. Okay, so we came over to the Clarence section and they have Birds of Prey for $2.97. Might be picking up those. Definitely we're gonna be picking up the Fantastic Four ones for $1.97. And the wife actually found something for her Harry Potter collection. It is Sorting Hat for $10 on Clarence. So we're gonna be grabbing that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she also found some Harry Potter Globes from last year, maybe. So, we'll probably get some of those as well. So, this GameStop actually has a decent selection of action figures, more so than I think it's seen as a lot of other ones. So, I got Spider Man, Dragon Ball, X Men, DC Universe up ones up here. They also have a decent fifth thing section. I mean, it's kind of down low, so that sucks. But they got a decent amount. Got some exiles down here. So we are on. Uh, we are in the local mall, in the second town still, and they have a FYE. So we'll go ahead and go in and see what we can see. So the first thing we see when we walk in is the stand of Pocket Pops. There's Pez. All kinds of them here. I love the Venom Lion, at Icon. They got all kinds of pocket pops here at FYE. It's one of the things we're really known for. Let's see if we, uh, Goose. Good old Goose. Let's see if I can find any here. I will update you later. Yes. So now we're looking at the Pez here. They have quite a few. I don't know. The line of Deadpool and Harley Quinn's. I got some on sale for $5.83. Jawas. Ad Icon. Uh, Marvel Hulk and Thor's. The green boxes. I'm sorry. Blue boxes. Uh, Star Wars. And they got some Doctor Who ones. 13th Doctor. 11th Doctor. And they got some uh, Golden Girls ones down here. Okay, so it looks like they have a sale for buy one get one 50% off on Mr. Minis. There is some It Chapter 2 there. They got some Pops. They got these bundles on sale. 15 bucks. Got some other Terminator Pops and some It Pops. Jeepers Creepers. So I don't know if you guys have uh, been to an FYE or seen one, but uh, they're a great store because they have, you know, genres and they usually have pops go along with it. And they usually have the big pop wall uh, and they usually hear a lot of Mr. Minis. There's a sorting hat and there's a big Harry Potter with head, head wig. Uh, but it looks like the deal right now is buy two, get one free on the Funkos along with the uh, Mr. Mini deal. So we're going to 
get some stuff here. I'll update later. So here's kind of what FYE is known for is their pop wall in the back of the stores usually. So there's a lot of good ones here. Probably gonna have to spend a minute here. Of course, I love Gambit. Uh, there's a couple of my hero ones. Where'd he go? This Maximus, I want to pick him up. He's an FYE exclusive. Uh, where did the... I just saw him. It was all for one. I guess he is now gone. Just a second. Uh, but what else do they have? No, I got the Minions ones. I got the Frank and Bob out. That's a good one. Got the FYE exclusive. The door box. Got the FYE exclusive, one of those. Um, what else do they got? That's cool. I think we're picking up these two with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. They're, uh... Still finding everything alright? Yep. Uh, they got the Star Killer, the Galacticon sticker. They got some Marvel Zombies. Tiger Woods. So, yeah, their pop wall has a Polar for a. Oh, Hellboy. I don't think I've seen this one before. Hmm. I'll take a look at this one. But they got a good selection of pops here on the prop wall of FYE a lot of times. So I recommend uh, taking a look at one if you ever get to see one. So we're currently in the third stop of the day, another town, and they have a game stop right next to Walmart. We actually stopped at the Walmart, and uh, their pop section was very limited. Their mini section was very limited. Went ahead and got two little mermaid minis. But like I said, we're going to this GameStop here and uh, see what they got inside this one. So this store right here is actually a 50-50 GameStop. So they're going to have a lot of figures in here. And there's, they are one of the guy, GameStops that turns their boxes to the side. Got a couple things left. There's some Harry Potters there. So we're gonna kind of see what they got here and go from there. So they got some minis. Not too many of them up here so far that I've found. There's a whole box of the minions. And I got some good luck trolls, which we're probably gonna get, and a couple of birds of prey that's left. So I don't know if we're gonna scoop those up or not. So one of the last stops of the evening is gonna be at Barnes and Noble. Uh, this is currently our fourth town that we're in, and uh, we'll see what's in this one. So this Barnes & Noble pop section is not very big. They actually, I think, just have one of these whole units that has the four-sided four -sided, uh, walls on it. And it's just your typical uh, Barnes & Noble pops for the most part. Got some more pink trolls. And I guess they have these ones. And then, in English, in English, right? And then here's all these minis here, though, which and the wife has already got that many go uh, good luck rolls. I get some more of the monster ones. Um, maybe a couple of the others. We'll see. So there it was, guys. That was the last stop on the big I-74 uh, collection hunt video. Uh, you know, as you can see, we went to multiple different stores, multiple different towns. It was a well over a 12-hour trip. Um, found a lot of good stuff though. It was well worth it. Spent well over $500. So the reveal video should be really awesome. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I also just want to say, you know, thank you for sticking to the end of the video. And I uh, hope you guys hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to me. And like I said, hopefully awesome more content coming your way.